What's up everybody? Hey, today I've got a really cool little log that I'm gonna be milling up. So I'm gonna bring you along. I'm gonna hopefully have some time-lapse stuff up for you, some pictures, and I'm really excited to mill up this little bitty section. I think it's a little bitty gym. Oftentimes we just want big logs, but man, you can pass up some small little sections often that, that have some really, really cool wood. Can't wait to see what it's gonna look like, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a good day milling here in the beautiful state of Arkansas. All right, here it is, a little chunk of the big maple that I milled up not too long ago. This was one of the sections of the tree that I just decided to bring home. Four foot long, about 28 inches wide on one end, 18 on the other. There's a lot of really cool figure in here. There's gonna be some burl sections. There's a lot of little burl knots on it, so I'm excited. All right, got the first cut done. Cut really well, saw room really well. I'm only running my 36 inch bar on this one. I don't like to run my big bar when I'm cutting smaller stuff, uh, just because it's just extra weight. And I, I had a sharp chain for my 36 inch bar. So, all right guys, check this out. Wow. First cut, look at all these little cool burl sections forming. Oh, I'm really excited to uh, get into this. So I'm about to make the adjustments and then we're gonna keep cutting. One thing you might notice is I'm not using my uh, winch on this one just because it's a short log and I've got it oriented downhill. And so it's like really no point of hooking up the winch for something this small. And, and especially with them cutting downhill, the saw just moves really smoothly and it cuts really quickly. Seven, 28 inches across right there. You've got about 16 inches, so not bad. All right, so I've got, so far, I've got three inch and a quarter. I think I'm gonna cut one at two inches because I'm at the pith of it right now. I'm gonna I'll have a, some good quarter sawn two inch thick stuff that I can do for some short legs from some turning, stuff like that. So it's coming along good, having a blast. Make sure you're checking your bar oil and gas frequently, but don't be an idiot. And like I did, I overfilled it. Now when I twist it down, it's about to spill out everywhere and I gotta clean the crap up. So pay attention. Don't be an idiot like me. So I made my decision, I'm gonna cut one more two inch thick one that way if I ever wanna make that like a book match table, I've got a really cool top for it.
something great. And I'm gonna upload a video soon on how I sharpen this one because I did an experiment with a chainsaw sharpener that I didn't use my Granberg. I used the steel sharpener. I don't know what it's called. It's the new one that they have. But I, I made a jig for it and I'm gonna upload it because I'm really happy with how uh, it is cutting with that. So look for that in the future because uh, it's, it's leaving great cuts for a chainsaw mill. Got it all done. I mean, I've only been sawing for maybe an hour, if that. I've been taking my time. I got, I think seven, maybe eight boards out of it. But I'm really, really pleased with it now. It's time to go stack it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my ladder because my ladder is, is parallel and I'm gonna just check the area to make sure that there's no twist in my setup because again, I, I want that to be perfectly flat and level because I don't wanna dry my wood with any extra twist in it. It's gonna move just a little bit, but you're gonna see I'm gonna do some things that really help uh, eliminate that so that I can get as best of a boards as possible when I dry this. All I did was go cut a small wedge. That's all I gotta do and that should shim it all up. like subscribe hit the hit the bell for notifications all that stuff thank you for joining me today hey get out there mill some lumber have some fun and uh until next time we'll catch you later